Welcome to the 2015 NCHA World Finals. Uh, we've just had the Open World Final uh, completed and it's no surprise that Matt Gaines has won on Special New Baby. Congratulations, Matt. Oh, thank you. Now, it's obviously been a very emotional win. Uh, you've got a host of major titles that you've won. What makes this one so special? I, I think there's a lot of things, you know. I think, you know, number, you know, that mare for one. I mean, she's uh, she's just a phenomenal individual and, uh, you know, there's a there's a special bond between me and her that you just you know you don't you don't have with every horse and uh, you know and just you know being able to do that with her and and uh, and the phenomenal individual she is and and uh, you know and and having Tara there with me every day and and uh, you know it's just been a, it's just been an awesome experience. It seems to be a project that you've really done together. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, there's. You know, I mean, without her, there's no way I'd have got it done. You know, I mean, just the the care she takes takes of that mare. I mean, it's, she just does a great job. And you know, I I don't know how many thousands of miles she's driven this year, so that you know I could fly in and show and get back home and and train my three year olds and that kind of stuff. So I mean, yeah, it wouldn't have been possible without what she's done. What was it that made you decide to haul this year? You know, you, you normally do the aged events. Uh, what was it that this year you decided to go for that world title? Well, I think that it's, it's kind of something I've always wanted to do. Uh, it's, it's really hard when you, you know, when you do the aged events to, to be able to break free and, and, and go do this. And, uh, and I, I kind of took a little shot at it last year and, and got to kind of haul and, and, and tried it till about June, and it just wasn't working. It wasn't fitting, and I said, you know what, I'm not, I'm not going to try to force this. Let's just, you know, I'll keep him in the top 15 and, and go back home and concentrate on my three-year-olds. And, and this year, it, it just all fell into place. You know what I mean? It wasn't we didn't set out at the beginning to win the world. It all started. We were, wanted to win 60000 to to get her in the Hall of Fame, and, and we went to San Antonio and won the Mercuria there and and then, you know, made the finals at Houston and and we got to Super Stakes and I think at that time I was twelve, fifteen thousand ahead and and us and the Barkers we had a meeting and you know, so what do you want to do? You know, do you wanna to try to you know, try to go and win the world or what? And and they you know, they said, Well if I was willing to do it they were you know, willing to do whatever they had to, to to try to make it happen. And, you know, we just decided that that we'd give it a shot. And as long as she was feeling good and we felt like she was enjoying it and uh, and was healthy, that, you know, we'd go and see what happens. And it just, you know, and everything just, it really just all kind of fell together. I just, I just think it was meant to be. It was what I was meant to do this year. Well, I mean, it was a spectacular year. You really knocked it out of the park in so many respects. You won three Mercurys in a row. You got the highest ever score of 234. What does that all mean to you? Well, I, you know, I, I really don't know because, I, I, you know, it, it's been – I don't really know that it's all really set in to me what all we really accomplished this year. And, and, it's, and it's funny. I mean, I just – I really feel like – she did it i've just kind of been along for the ride because you know i, I mean uh i think we're uh, i think we're a really good team but i think she's the strongest member of the team you know uh i've been you know there's so many times this year even tonight i mean i cut cows that you really don't want to go cut and she just you know she guts up and she bails me out and you know, and I mean, that's what she's done all year. So I, I don't really know that it's really anything I've done that's that special, but it's everything she's done that's that's made it happen, and, and which is cool, man. That's what it's supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about her. But there must be a lot of trust on her part with you. Well, yeah, I think there is. And like I said, I think there's a, there's a very special and unique bond between the two of us that, you know, I, I've had, you know, some other great horses that, you know that I was close to and were special to me but there's just there's something different about this one and there you know and there has been all along and I, I I don't even really know how to explain it I just you know there's just it's it's almost like she knows what I'm thinking and I know what she's thinking and 
you know, like we had one run in the go round at Vegas this year, and one of them curious, I get paired up on my third cut, and the other cow won't get out of the way, and and I'm I'm like, well, if I don't get my hand down, they're not, I'm not gonna make the finals, and I just throw my hand down, and we work with two cows out there for three or four turns, and the other one goes one way, and the one I'm trying to work goes the other way, and you you know, and we just right there i mean we're just on the same page and you know and, and it's just there there's just something there i don't i don't really know how to explain it but but they're you know i i think she we just know each other that well and and like you said trust each other that much that I, I think that makes a lot of difference and tonight when you when you came out and i mean you obviously had already won but you gave it your all, the horse gave it her all, the crowd loved it, they got behind you, you could feel the support and the love, it was palpable there tonight. Um, describe what that feeling was like. Why was it important to, you know, you got a 231, why was it important to keep performing right to the end? Well, I, you know, it, it, the, for the whole last part of this year, for the last couple of Macurias and, and here, you know, I felt like I've pretty much had it wrapped up for a couple months and you know, but it's it's been important to me to just I, I know I've seen through the year how much every, you know the following that mare's created and how many people love her and uh, you know and I just I wanted this last run I wanted to try to make it something that everybody would remember and uh, you know and let her go out like she deserves to go out and. You got a standing ovation. How did that feel? Uh, it's it was awesome. That's you know, we got one at Paso two and we marked the two thirty four and you know and it's just it's an awesome feeling to you know when when everybody else appreciates that mare as much as I do. I guess you know I mean just the and that's what's been phenomenal about this year is the you know just the the following through Facebook and and all different things and you know I mean I think that there's a lot of people that have fallen in love with her you know just you know just like we do and 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 that's awesome and it's and it's also been awesome for our sport I think that uh, you know what she's done this year it's it's been it's been good for our sport and uh, it, it you know it's just been a lot of fun I just feel blessed that that I've got to be along for the ride. So what's on the cards for next year? Uh, probably just go back to doing the aged event stuff. And uh, I think I've got a really good three-year-old smooth as cat gilding out of that mare that I showed here, made semifinals. And, you know, so far through two runs, he looks like he's going to be a really good horse. So hopefully, uh, you know, concentrate on campaigning him and my other aged event horses this next year. And, uh you know, go back to trying to train train some more good ones. Well, congratulations. You really did give the crowd something to remember, um, you know, long into the, the future. Uh, great job. Thanks, Matt. Thank you.